This morning, our series of Dish goes on a delicious journey to a country at the crossroads between Europe and Asia. I'm talking about the tiny nation of Georgia, neighbors with Russia, neighbors with Turkey, population of less than 4 million people total, but it has got a rich, centuries-old tradition of food and wine. Chris Livesay visited the country's capital to meet a chef who has traveled the world only to realize that what he really needed was right there back home. There's a land that time forgot, but that a prodigal son remembered and is now on a mission to help others discover. And your screen and your phone, Georgia, oh, this is what, it's the U.S., Georgia, no, oh, it's country, it's small country. When you come, you will discover what is Georgia and how it's small country, but how it's big civilization. Much like his country, Guram Bagdashvili is larger than life. One part Gordon Ramsay as the host of a TV cook-off show. Chef Gamey. And one part Anthony Bourdain exploring Georgia's far reaches one bite at a time. Driven by a passion for food from his childhood. As a boy, as a five, six-year-old, yes. Already at five, you were cooking for exactly. yourself. The first of all, I took the... Um, like some animals in the, in the mountains, and I cook. So you would hunt the animals? Exactly. Frogs and other snakes and this, uh, this stuff. I cook, and I bring my friends, and I give food. And my mom, they beat me uh, every day. That is a very unique, <laughs> yeah. I have to admit. You kill someday, somebody don't do this anymore. Ta -ta -ta -ta. But at 13, the father who taught him to hunt died turning Guram into a family breadwinner and setting him off on a journey to find a career and himself. So you sold your VCR yeah. to buy a ticket to Moscow. Exactly. So what were you looking for? I don't know. I'm like a river, you know? You just go with the flow. Exactly. And the flow took you to Moscow. Exactly. He eventually sliced and diced his way west, cooking in some of Europe's top restaurants. Spain, Portugal, France, Italy, Belgium. Georgian food without coriander, it's not food for But us. after 20 years mastering international haute cuisine, he realized there was one country he'd overlooked, his own. It's a world between two worlds, Asia and Europe. Between Europe and Asia, Georgia Bored. sits right there Bored. on the threshold. It sounds like Georgia was the original fusion cuisine. Exactly. This is what I want to do. Now, last seven years, I separate to modern cuisine and I push my traditional uh, roads up. Starting yeah. with Hinkali. Now it's time for the make Grandmother's magic. Dumplings made from fresh ground pork, beef, or lamb, hand rolled, then boiled to perfection. You've seen worse? Yes, you have, <laughs> you have, you have, you have talent, you have talent, you have... Uh, I'm better at eating dumplings than making them, I think. Yeah. Next, a fresh dip called pkali, made from pumpkin, Walnuts. hazelnut, pomegranate, and garlic. Paired with croquettes coated in corn flour. It looks like Mexican, you? Yeah? I was good. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to say that, but I didn't want you to roll your eyes. But it is sort of Mexican. Like there's that bean pork combination. Landro. And it's not like Mexico is on the border with Georgia. Quesadilla, Hachapuri. <laughs> right. Tenili cheese. That Georgian quesadilla? Hachapuri. Guram's version calls for puff pastry, stuffed and covered with stringy aged cheese. Like the one he makes here on his cooking show. Mm -hmm. well, and no Georgian meal would be complete without wine. Imagine we are 8,000 vintage. 8,000 years to Georgia. Wine goes back 8,000 years in Georgia. Mm, yeah, Georgian style orange uh, amber wine. Like this color here. If we make wine 8,000 years, how many thousand years we make Georgian food for good Georgian wine? <laughs> At least 8,000 uh, years. Yes. <laughs> 
When you have that much history, Gorham says the best thing a chef can do is get out of the food's way. Don't change too much uh, flavors. When you eat this, do you feel at home? Yeah. This is uh, my message for customers. You must feel your village, your grandma, always any food must to be give you in the, some sweet memories. For CBS Mornings, Chris Livesay, Tbilisi, Georgia. What? Mm. Yum. That last shot right there. What is that, Vlad? The kacha? Uh, kachapuri. Ka kachapuri. I want that. I know. Yeah. You can. You, well, there are Georgia restaurants that in New York City. Yeah, there's that. Tama Mama and Oda House downtown. But um, I love the fact that he points out that they've been making wine, wine. for 8,000 years. And so how do you think <laughs> they had to pair the wine with great Georgian they've food? Been making great food. And that's how those recipes come to be, right? It's thousands of years of experimentation and improvement all the way down to his grandmother, who then teaches him. And that's the result. We saw it. I liked him, too. Very nice. Thank you, Chris. <laughs>